Welcome back to Jing Language Global, where we dissect the Jing language. Continuing on from our anatomy series, in today's lesson, we're looking at the face. Now, in the translations, we have a correction for skin. In the Wanjang, we say del. And then we have del nyin for skin of the face. And we also have nyin for faces. In today's series, as you know, we will be doing nyin, the face. Below is a lesson overview of what we will tackle in today's session. And so, let us begin. In the Wanjiang, nyin refers to face. Nyin. We call the occipital ridge gul nyin for one. Gul nyin. If there are many, we say gul nyin. Gul nyin. When referring to the next one, we say nim gul for eyebrow. Nim gul. Remember, nim is generally referring to a strand of hair, so multiple in one bundle. And the plural of that would be nim gul. Fibrous. Nim gul. Now the skin on the eyelid in the Wanjang we say del nyin del nyin for eyelid. If there are multiples we say del nyin del nyin. Keep in mind del is already in plural. The next phrase down is nim nyin nim nyin to refer to eyelashes. Multiple of those would be nim nyin nim nyin for eyelashes. The eye the eyeball or the the eye in English, is called rongnyin. Rongnyin, fireball. If there are many of them, we say rongnyin. Rongnyin, for eyeballs. Now the eye in Dongwanja is nyin. Nyin. And multiples of those would be nyin. Nyin. Moving on to the rest of the face, we begin with tok for mouth. Tok. The plural of that would be tok. Tok for plural for mouths. The singular word for nose would be um. Um. If there are many, we say um. Um. Going down the list, we have chin, which in Tongwanjang we say, Ayual. Ayual. There are many of them. We say, Ayuel. Ayuel. And finally, we have cheek. One cheek in Tongwanjang we term as Gem. Gem. If there are many, we say, Gum. Gum. For plural. Keep in mind, if there are facial hairs, we can say Numtok for facial hair on and around the lips and the mouth. Numtok. Beard, same thing. We call them 
nimm Bock.